The atomic number is the number of protons in a nucleus. The atomic number defines an element. Once we know how many protons are in a nucleus, we know what element it is. Once we know what element it is, we know how many protons are in the nucleus. All periodic tables include the elemental symbol and the atomic number, usually above the symbol. By looking at the block for carbon, we see that its atomic number is 6, and thus every single carbon atom in the universe has 6 protons in its nucleus. We will consider the decimal below the symbol later in the chapter. That's the average atomic mass. Atoms have no overall charge, which means the number of protons and electrons are equal. Once we know how many protons are in the nucleus, we also know how many electrons are in an atom. For example, since all carbon atoms have six protons, all carbon atoms have six electrons. The mass number is the sum of the protons and neutrons in a nucleus. Unlike the atomic number, the mass number is not generally found on the periodic table. Usually the mass number must be given to you. When the mass number is important to know, it is written in the upper left-hand corner of the elemental symbol. The name is written as the element name, followed by a hyphen and the mass number. This symbol of carbon with a mass number of 13 is called carbon-13. Often the atomic number is included in the symbol as well, on the left-hand side below the mass number. Chemists usually do not include the atomic number because we know we can find it on the periodic table. However, other scientists, including those in the medical field, often include the atomic number. On your quizzes, I generally will not include the atomic number. Given a symbol with a mass number, you can calculate the number of each subatomic particle. Once you are given a symbol, you merely find it on the periodic table to determine its atomic number, if the atomic number is not expressly written. Once you have the atomic number, you know the number of protons and electrons for an atom. To calculate the number of neutrons, subtract the number of protons from the mass number. We see the symbol here for phosphorus 31. Calculate the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Since the atomic number is 15, there are 15 protons and electrons. The number of neutrons is determined by subtracting the number of protons, 15, from the mass number of 31. There are 16 neutrons in the nucleus of this atom.